spillway rock bass fishing tonight. Came down at 1 a.m. Jigging a 16th ounce Berkeley Gulp minnow jig here. Got one against this wall. Awesome. Nice solid nine, nine and a quarter incher. There we go. Just barely twitching along the bottom. This guy hit it. Feels like another rock bass. Main reason I do this is I'm just looking for a record rock bass. I have been for many years. It's been on my record hunting list along with some other fish. It's another right around the same size. Yep, there's another one. Just kind of dragging, twitching that jig along the bottom. Getting them all right out of the same place, about 15 feet away from me. Guy might be a little bit bigger. Nine and a quarter, nine and a half, I'd guess. Decent rock bass for sure. Another one right out of that same pocket right there. Water's so high that there's like a current right in front of me. And they're between the current and the wall in that four feet, about 15 feet that way, away from me. That's just a real small guy. It's like seven incher. Another one right out of that pocket. Sweet. Hunting for a 12 plus. Another solid one. That one's probably pushing 10. I'd say a solid 9.5 for sure. Oh, this guy got way out there. Finally got one out there. It's been a pretty slow bite. Not as high as it usually is. Or sometimes is at least. But they move around in schools. This is another little guy. Yeah, six, seven incher again. Swapped out for a three inch curly tail jig. A power bait, chartreuse and and uh, and brown still 16th ounce a little seven seven and a half incher I keep uh, I keep snagging my jigs and a fishing line snag out there so I switched out for a brown three inch curly tail jig another smaller one yeah probably seven incher probably I'm just twitching this jig just like I was with the Berkeley Galt Minnow jig. Um, main reason I'm twitching it, even though steady retrieves work great for rock bass, uh, I'm twitching it so that there's like a falling action to the jig so it'll stay along the bottom where the rock bass are. Especially since I'm using a light jig in heavier current here since the spillway's flooded. That's a tiny guy hooked on the face. Well, found the magic color I think. Brown jigs on fire, three casts in a row. That's how it should be. Usually I do pretty well in motor oil. I didn't bring any though, but brown's pretty close to that. Here's another decent one. Probably eight and a half. I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing this cast. With more than words. So I cast it out, let it sink, until I feel the boulders. And then I'm just giving it little twitches so the rod tips, I don't know, it's not rocket science, I'm just twitching it about a foot. That's not the only jigging that'll work though, other, other retrieves will work too. And I'm just keeping the rod tip down, like near my shins. There's one. That's four in a row. Awesome. Another solid one. I was going to say, man, if there's one, there should be more. <laughs> it's just the jig color. This brown jig's working great. That one's probably right around the same size as the last one, eight and a half or so. Oh, there's so many snags here. All the, you know, the spillway bottom out into the water is uh, 
it's just big boulders with cracks in between them so that's why I'm using a, a lighter 16th ounce jig and that's why I'm twitching it so that it keeps falling back to the bottom if I steady retrieved it would rise up in the water as I as it came towards me that one's probably around eight I'd say all right <laughs> brown jig's still working pretty well I can always tell it's a rock bass because they have this like really quick like quiver they don't really fight they just wiggle r really fast that one's probably barely eight inches right around there it's awesome how much hotter this brown jig is than the and the chartreuse and the white and all the other colors I was trying really making a big difference there's a better rock bass for sure it's a nice solid one at least nine and a half I'd say at least all right slowed down for a little bit but just picked up another one another Another one on the smaller side, probably seven and a half or right around there. Sometimes I just hit it on the fall right when you cast out. I measured that last one just for fun, see how close my guesses are tonight. And I'm pretty sure I've been under guessing them all night. They've all probably been around half an inch longer or so than what I've been guessing. There's another smaller one. Another one along the wall. Most of them have been getting out way in between the different the different currents, like the different speed currents out in front of me, just whipping it out there. But the first ones and this one came off the wall. It was a nice thick one. Heck yeah, <laughs> nice solid rock bass. Beauty. That's got to be a 10 incher, right around there. With nice belly though. Last one was nine and three eighths, so I guess I'm not estimating them over or under steady. Just a mix of both. I'm just off in general. I'm pretty tired though, so it's understandable, I guess. That one feels heavy. It's bending the rod when I lift him up. <laughs> Another beauty. That one might actually be a ten, like a real ten this time. Looks bigger than the last one. If not, he's definitely closer. He's got some nice guts on him too, though. Nice, nice and fat. It's mid-October, so they should be getting fatter. Hiked all the way to the car and back to get a new light, so you can see the video better. Other one was dying. This guy feels good size. Oh yeah. Another solid one. There you go, one right next to me here. This is probably like an average night. I'm working for him a little bit. A few nights a year I get a much better number of them. You know, 60 or 70. It's another nice solid one though. Nine and a half or so. One of the bigger ones tonight for sure. Oh, here's another one. You know, nothing huge, but a lot of nice ones. Just quality ones. Oh yeah, another solid one for sure. You know, nine and a quarter, nine and a half. Still just jigging sideways from the hip, you know, like around 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Pretty slow jigging. Just popping it off the bottom, let it sink back down, and again and again. Action's been a pretty steady burn since I honed in on the color that they wanted, because they're pretty scattered, it seems. You know, they usually are this time of year in this spellway. That one's got some weight to him. That's what I'm looking for. 
he's taking some taking some drag with his weight. Wow. Feels like a rock bass though. Sick. Oh no it isn't. That's a walleye. Shoot. <laughs> I was gonna say. If that was a rock bass, man, that would have been enormous. Yeah. Nice solid walleye. 18 incher, 19. Awesome. That one feels more like a rock bass. And that walleye really tricked me. <laughs> Could have swore it was the one. Yes, it's just a just a baby. Back into the small guys again. Seven and a half incher. Or seven. There we go, two in a row. Let's pork them in here. Another little guy. Couple more casts, another one hit. <laughs> All right around the same size. Just little ones again. I'm gonna do this for a little while longer and then go set up for pheasant. Opening hour of pheasant. Yeah, another solid one, sweet. <laughs> It's like they're either really small or nice quality ones tonight. Tonight, can't talk. I'm getting so tired. That one's pretty strong. Another nice one, I think. Oh yeah, there's a rock bass. Wow, best one of the night. That one's definitely double digits. Definitely over ten. That's what I'm looking for right there. Wow, what a beauty. I'll get a measurement on him. That is a solid one. That last one was ten and a quarter. It's a nice solid one. Tall in the back too. It's a beauty. Not a monster, but you know, a good one. Above average. Another solid one for sure. Real good colors on I love the ones that are like olive. You know, that one's nine, nine and a quarter. This will probably be the last one. You gotta go soon. Yeah, another beauty. Wow. That's so thick. Thick nine and a half probably. This one's probably really going to be the last one. Another decent one. Not quite as big as the others, probably fat eight and a half or so. Eight and a quarter, eight and a half. I just can't help myself. <laughs> I might be late for hunting, but I just love catching these guys. Oh yeah, another beauty. Look at that one. <laughs> That's probably 10 or really close to 10. Real thick. Some of them are super fat. What a beauty. It's definitely over 9.5. Huge head on them. <laughs> Keep having some throw the hook on me. That last one was right on 10 inches. Just a nice thick tall in the back one, perfect colors, great fish. So second best one of the night. This one isn't as small as he felt, he's a decent one. Beautiful olive colors though man, probably just eight and a half but great colors. Here's one. First cast. Got a smallie. Alright. Just jigging a brown and yellow bucktail jig off this structure here. That's what I was hoping for. Some smallies to be stacked up. Uh, 
that's probably a 16 inch or so right around there awesome all right second cast There's one. Two for two. They're stacked up for sure. Howdy. Oh, man. Good. Got one on, huh? Yep. Molly? Yep. There's one. Awesome. Hitting both sides here. I switched to a uh, 16th ounce um, brown with a white strip because I was getting uh, short strikes on the other side. So I want some that moves a little slower. It was a little smaller. Yeah, that last bass was uh, just a half inch smaller than the, the first one. That one's got to be a solid 17. There's one. I measured all of them so far. They were 15 and a half, 15, and uh, 16 and 7 eighths. So another one, probably right around 15 on that 16th ounce brown and white bucktail jig. It might be 14 and a half. All right, moved down to this river and started jigging. Two casts, I got a fish even though it's really flooded, just like all the other rivers after the rain. Awesome, looks like a smallie. Oh no, it isn't, it's a fallfish. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. Ooh, nice fallfish, heck yeah. Oh man, yeah, nice solid fallfish. It's probably I would guess a 19 incher. I'll go get a measurement on them. Caught a lot of these guys um, as long or longer than the state and world record, but I can't find one fat enough to break the record. I've caught 10 that have been 19 or over, and the record was 19. I've caught some that have been way over 19, and I, even with eggs, I still can't break it. But I've been working on it for a while. one. I thought I felt something there. It's like he slurped it really softly. A little smally. Sweet. So I'm looking for on that eighth ounce brown and yellow bucktail jig. 12-13 incher. All right. Kept these guys alive for a while and then chilled them down. The second I got home, I got so tired that I just instantly fell asleep. I don't even remember laying in bed, but I just woke up in bed. But I'm glad I chilled them down. So you know, now I'm gonna go take care of them. I ended up keeping uh, a limit of smallmouth, just decent-sized ones, and uh, all these rock bass here. These are all the eight-inch plus ones that I was getting, and. Uh, 
that walleye too. A lot of good meat. I didn't end up getting the monster that I was hoping to get, but you know, I don't have the greatest trophy luck. But uh, I did get some dinners. You know, for me and my friends. A lot of nice quality rock bass, eight to two that were 10 plus, you know. Nothing monstrous, but nice ones. Good back straps on them.